Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode from Sanders Wildlife. Today I want to talk to you about otters, including the story of a very special otter named Butters. Butters is known as a river otter, aka Lontraconodinus, which is one of 13 known species of otter. Of the 13 known species, only two are found in the United States, the sea otter and the northern river otter. This little river otter has had quite the journey to get where he currently is today. Although river otters can be found along banks of rivers, their names can often be misleading. These creatures are known to inhabit a wide range of aquatic habitats, including rivers, lakes, marshes, creeks, and coastal shorelines. Butters was found in a pasture with few nearby creeks in the town of Bremen, Georgia. We were called by a very caring citizen who reached out regarding an otter who had been attacked by a dog. Though in rough shape, Butters was still breathing and fighting to stay alive. Once I picked Butters up, I took him home to immediately clean his wounds and try to find a rehabber who could help. Each species requires a rehabber who specializes in the species injured. Luckily, we connected with a private rehabber from Conyers, Georgia, who welcomed Butters with open arms. I was then able to connect with another rehabber who immediately fed and treated Butters before taking him on his way to Conyers. Although Butters was suffering from major head trauma, he was happy to see some fish. River otters are carnivores and have a high metabolism which requires the frequent consumption of food. This has resulted in a large biodiversity in their diet. An otter's diet is composed of small mammals and mostly aquatic organisms, including fish, frogs, young beaver, snails, crayfish, turtles, plants, and insects. We are so thankful to have experienced help to care and assist these amazing animals. Rescuing the animals is just the beginning. Most of the time and work goes into rehabbing these animals back into the wild, and for Butters, his road would not be easy. He was brought in with three fractured ribs, spinal injuries, extensive nerve damage, as well as severe facial and body wounds. Butters was in rough shape, and for months he was exercised, fed, and pampered, and provided a nice place to bathe and sleep. Butters has been progressing in healing and rehab for almost four months, but unfortunately he may not ever be able to be released back into the wild due to the amount of damage his body has received. Thankfully the rehabber caring for Butters didn't give up in finding him a quality life. Butters has now been transported to Bear Hollow Zoo in Athens, Georgia where he is being allowed to recover in privacy until he's ready to join the other otters in Bear Hollow's otter habitat. Otters are known to live around seven to eight years in the wild and up to 15 years in captivity. Though the road wasn't easy, for those who helped, it was all worth it. If you're looking to support your local rehabbers or need assistance with a wild animal, you can search for the closest help to you on Animal Helps Now's website, as well as view an updated rehabbers list off your state's Department of Natural Resources page. We also like to take the time to mention the International Otter Survival Fund, which is an amazing organization that is set out to help endangered otters across the globe. Please check the comment section below for more links and information on how to help. Butter's journey is thankfully not over yet. We wish the best this little otter going forward and hopefully can update you on a status in the upcoming months. Thanks again for watching another episode from Sanders Wildlife. Until next time.